This week on Sailing Zephyr, we enjoy our last few days at anchor before we head into the marina and prepare Zephyr so that we can fly to Canada. This is not how I envisioned our day into the marina. <laughs> We're finally going into the marina and we wake up to this. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified on future video releases. Our gang wouldn't be complete without our friends, Nat and Nevo, who come to pick us up to begin the week by heading over to the Caranero Island. This island is just north of our anchorage and one where you can walk around the entire island in under an hour. So of course, that's what we did. What makes this island truly special is that it has no roads or cars on the island. guy's house over there. He's got the spot. It's a shop. It's a shop. See? So what have we done? We've walked around the whole entire island we of have. It was a pretty cool walk. We got attacked by fire ants, which was not fun. Uh, we checked out the surf. We saw some amazing houses. And yeah, it's a pretty epic little hike. It was really good. We need to do more exercise like this. Yeah. Wow, we're like through the middle of the town town here. Yeah. Like fully. Oh, look at the hanging chicken in there. They're about... Did you see it? Okay. It's getting dark. Yeah. The next day, we head to one of the many wrecks in this archipelago. It's not the best visibility, but it tests our freediving skills. The following morning, we are woken up by our bilge pump. We soon discover what's triggered it, a fresh water leak. All of a sudden, we freak out because there's a ton of water. This is not how I envisioned our day into the marina. <laughs> we're finally going into the marina and we wake up to this right before we're about to enter. Yeah, all this water in the bilge. We've got a little bit of water below the water tank, but I don't think the water tank is cracked. The intake for the water, fresh water, 
and the overflow valve are all dry. But there's water underneath the tank, right? There's a little bit sitting right here. So I, I'm going to check again where the access hole is for the water tank. Maybe it shouldn't be sitting on it. So I'm going to move off it. it in a second. Yeah. Just need to move all this stuff. We decide to investigate further when we are in the marina. All right, guys, so after spending the whole morning bailing on the boat, thankfully it was fresh water, now we're off to the marina. We've got Nat on board to help us out. We've got Nemo in the dinghy somewhere already at the marina. <laughs> James driving, you got to park this like a boss. No, okay? no pressure, right? No pressure whatsoever. And I'm going to be faffing at the front with the lines. <laughs> what are we doing for the first time ever? Yeah, so we're going into this marina that I don't even know what it's called. It's not mid mooring. No. Um, but anyway, it has two gigantic poles at the front, and you have to loop around uh, your lines and then back to the cleat. So we've never done this before. Um, but anyway, we've got plenty of help, so I'm sure we'll be we'll ace it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Once settled, we have three days to clean the inside and the outside of Zephyr before we leave. So guys, we found the leak. Uh, it's bad news because it is our tank that's leaking. So I'll show you in here what I mean. So just in there towards that side is a leak. It's not leaking super fast, but it's uh, slow enough now but fast enough when the tank is completely full because obviously it put it flexes the this plastic so we are going to drain well we're currently draining the whole tank and then we're going to pull the tank out and try and fix it and then slide it back in 
and hopefully it holds because this is our largest tank as well this the one at the front is a smaller one but at least we can use the front one for now so we found the crack um, it's on the bottom of this cylindrical bit here and it's a small crack about a half an inch long that runs this way on the very bottom of the tank here where there's a crease and basically what happens is if this is the plastic when the tank fills up with water and it flexes it flexes a little bit like that and the water just starts squirting out so um, we've had a little bit of a look and I think we can just repair it with some silicone and it'll be okay and then we are giving this tank a clean since we've had it open and the pipe that sucks the water up it's copper and I was just giving it a wipe and it just literally broke apart hardly with any touching but that's okay because I've got some plastic piping I'm going to change it for instead of this one so just gonna pull it out now and rig together a plastic one awesome. so as we said guys this is that piece of copper that broke uh, it basically sucked the water up um, and yeah it's really fragile it literally just broke off when I just touched it so what I've done guys I've got some spare hose on the boat I've just basically cut a length of this hose and grabbed a hose clamp and attached it to the little valve and replaced it with this hose uh, and I think it'll work fine forever now so that's what we've done so I've cleaned the tank out we used a little bit of bleach cleaned the whole thing out there's a little bit of a film in there we uh, Nat had suspected the tank wasn't as clean as I had hoped it was um, so yes yeah, so we've given the tank a clean we've mopped all the water out of it but what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna let it dry while we're gone we were gonna try and glue it just before we left but the tank isn't gonna dry in time so we'll wait until we get back We'll silicone it and then it should be good to go. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons. Life and you.